No, don't take my mask off. Oh, 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 oh dang it, man, that hurt. <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm starting to feel a little stir crazy. I've been in quarantine for well over 50 days. Spent a lot of time with my family. I miss having contact outside of my family. I haven't really seen my best friend, Mr. Link Neal. I really miss my friends and I miss Rhett. Well, Rhett's a friend. Rhett's not my only friend, I do have a group of friends. I mean, I've seen him a lot actually on video conferences. Being on video calls, it's just not the same. And I actually did go to his house one time and had a conversation. Hey, don't come any closer. You know, that was different. I was just dropping off some grape nuts. We gotta get in the same space. I haven't really been in his presence. I really look forward to our reunion. We're going to reunite. Let's call it a meeting. That, that'll make it seem more official. But we're gonna do it in a responsible way. With social distancing still in place, it's like, it's not gonna be like it's going back to normal. Is it gonna be weird to see each other again after all this time? I actually think that our meeting could be really awkward. Because you can really easily just be hanging out with somebody and sort of forget about that six feet. But if you've got some way to physically enforce the six foot distance between people, we've come up with a solution. This grabber! Grip and Grab by A. Torre, not a sponsor. The problem is, is that these are very mechanical looking. That isn't very inviting. So what we're gonna do is add a more human-like feel and appearance to these arms to keep things from being so cold and indifferent. Oh, I just realized they're reaching for beans. This was made for me. When you're meeting in public and you wanna keep a safe distance, you gotta be a little incognito. If you remember from a previous vlog, we established that my skin color is... A slightly lighter one is pretty dang close. Lake House. So I'm going to apply this Lake House color to this pool noodle. Like on the A-Team episodes, they would have to craft something by amalgamating things on vehicles. Yeah, let's do that. Set this one aside. Man, I'm like a freaking assembly line. Oh, I want to do that. Is it supposed to be flexible or did I break it? Hey Lando, come here. What are you doing? Are you trying to take my glasses? Ow, ow, that hurts. Hopefully this will not affect the grabability. Grab that right there. Do we have different scissors that cut fabric? I'll go. I'm not trying to make a sexy pose. I'm just trying to hold this thing down so I can cut it. But if it's sexy, so be it. <laughs> A lot of thigh. Lake house, that's what a lake house looks like. That's my color. One day I'll go to a lake house and stand next to it and you won't even see me. Boy, I wish I had some scissors that could cut fabric better than, <gasps> wow, thank you, Mr. Claw. Take those in the house and put them where they go. Look at that. Oh yeah, these scissors work a lot better. Woo doggy. As my 11 year old son said the other day when I was about to cross behind him with my shirt off after a workout, when he was on his class chat. Dad, don't walk past me when I'm in class. And I was like, why? He's like, your skin is gross. <laughs> it's like, gee, thanks, son. Of course, I can't just think about sleeves. I gotta think about musculature. Gotta match my existing musculature and extrapolate that. The arms are dry. Now it's time to put some hair on them. Put some hair on your arms, boy. I'm gonna tape it or maybe sew it. Can you sew? I can, but I'm not good at it. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to learn how to sew. I'm gonna put this down like that, and I'm gonna put this over it. And I'm gonna keep talking to myself because it's the only way I can figure out crafts. So it turns out that this wig came with a beard. That's a nice thing. So I'm just gonna trim it. You can still use that as a beard, just a shorter one. I know it looks like a flag. It's flappy. It's like it's like your great aunt's, you know, sleeveless dress. You got that flappy flappy, you know, at the family reunion. We gotta remedy this. We got some stuffing up there. What you doing? Getting the fluff. Genius! Oh. That's my arm stuffing. I got some baby arms for later. Made a scarecrow before. This is how country folk make scarecrows up yet. Now in order to get it onto our arm, I'm going to cut down the middle. I think this will fool a crow, which probably means it will fool red. I should be able to simply open this up and slide her on. There you have it. Can you tell the difference? Identical. What do you think it's gonna be like when Red and I hang out with each other? It's gonna be weird. I impress myself sometimes. I got some big ass arms. 
Man, I got a wide wingspan like this. You're going to put the top one in the thumb. Oh, and the yeah. the bottom one in the pink. Dad, look. I pulled a Tom Sawyer trick or Huck fan. I get him confused. I got him doing all the work and the thinking. Now for the hair. I actually don't really know what the approach should be for this. Create a stickiness here. Go pull it and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, look at that. That's very convincing. Drop some hair on it. It's a little more puby than I was planning on. Pleased to meet you. It's been quite a long break. What's your name? Oh, like Gone with the Wind? Okay. That is beautiful. Look at that. Link's gonna think that I just got really long arms. Oh yeah, there we go. I have every reason to believe that some of this hair will fall off during my time with Link, but that's cool because that's like a little thing he can remember me by. We make a good team, man. Like on the A-team. What? A-team? This is a show that you've never seen. There's a nice coating of hair on each one. Rather realistic if you ask me. I've gotten a little bit darker because I've been out in the sun. Uh, hopefully Link won't notice. I went from thinking this was a crazy idea to starting to think it's pretty dang realistic. My arms are done. They finished baking in the sun. That was a rhyme and I didn't mean to do it. Thank you so much, Lando. All right, now I'm ready. Tomorrow, I'm going to go meet Link and we're going to interact more than we have in weeks. Okay, all right. Today's the day. I'm going to see my best friend and I'm going to touch him but not really touch him. I've arrived here at our meeting spot. Link is not here, but I'm just gonna sort of set up camp and wait to meet my friend. I can tell that Rhett is already here. I'm gonna have to film somehow. That's not gonna work. This moment's been pretty built up in my mind. I hope my arms aren't a disappointment. I'm pretty impressed with him. Okay, there he is, I see him. Hey. Hey. Nice arms. You know what? You went with the sleeves. Uh, are you hot? No, I just have long arms. <laughs> it's hard to hold these puppies up. Good to see you. Oh, you want to shake hands? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, hey, good to see you, Liz. Back again, together. Woo! High five, left hand. Now I gotta say, yours uh... They're hairy, yeah, thanks. They look a little bit more robotic than mine. You getting tired of holding them up? Robotic? I know, hey listen man, this is Lake House, can't you tell? Oh yeah, should we hug? Well yeah, here's the thing, right now we're like 12 feet apart, we can get closer. Hey man. I guess this is more of like a dance pose. Hey. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, I'll take my glasses. Hold on, let me see if I can put oh, you back. No, don't take my mask off. Oh, oh, mask, your beard. oh dang it, man, that hurt. <laughs> Put the claw together. Now push it. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Look at us, man. We're at a safe distance, but we're connecting. Dang, my arms are getting heavy. Do you see yourself as someone with arms that thick? Do you see yourself as that hairy? I mean, I have been. Hey, put your mask back I on, man. I, I can't, you gotta. <laughs> This I'm working so up fun. a sweat, man. Hey, I, I think we can sell these for the man who wants sleeves and for the man who doesn't. Let me get a good look at your arms there. Oh, wow. Badass, huh? Yeah, that's pretty good. I gotta get a shot of this hair. It's wig hair. It's a little redder than my actual hair. I think also I've shed some of it. That's pretty good, man. You look like a man with robotic appendages. The whole idea was it didn't want to, I didn't want it to seem robotic. That's why I painted it flesh colored. That does not look like a hand. Oh yeah, that definitely looks human. I'm not comfortable around you in shorts. You're not typically a guy who wears shorts professionally. It's hot out here, man. It is freaking blazing. I even rolled them up a little bit for you. Hold on, oh, that shot right there, that just looks like a guy with arms. Clap to the beat. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. That's a little slow. Well, do a slower beat. I'm a long arm man. I got a long farmer's tan. Check out that thumb. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch it, you just can't touch me. Speaking of robotic. Well, hold is... on, that's not, pull that, pull that together, well, man. Well, I'm just telling you, this is one thing you don't see on mine. Br bridge it, bridge the gap. There you go, there you go. I'm a freaking scarecrow, you know? This is better than a scarecrow. It is scary, if that's <laughs> what you're going for. Do some traffic directing. Come on, planes! If a man with arms that long waved you in, you would definitely go whatever direction or you're if, asking. Or if I'm like caught on an island and like a plane comes over, I'm like, help! See that? That's effective, man. Oh, hold on, you know what? That looks pretty epic and it gives me an idea. I'm gonna make this even more epic. You have got a freaking draw. 
<laughs> is this what you've been doing with your quarantine time? Hold Buying up. crap on the internet? Hold your arms out. I gotta do something awesome. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're getting an epic shot of yourself, man. Hey. Whoa! It took my hair off, man. Hey. Whoa! Ah! Let me try, man. Yeah, epic arms for social distancing. <laughs> it really is nice to see you in person, man. You too, man. Just to reach out and touch your face. Am I choking you? To touch it. Am I choking you? Uh, you you pigeon. I got a present for you. It's in my pocket. Hold on. You brought a present. I didn't bring anything. I, I, now you're making me look bad. Yeah, I know. I thought if I brought a gift and you didn't, you'd look bad. I look bad. All right. You're going to look worse once you see the gift. It's in my pocket and I can't really get it. You need some help with that? Out. Can you yeah, reach in there? You got it? You got me a card? I gotta open that card. I can grip it tight with this. <sighs> Sorry about your card. You got a really. Should I help you? Yeah, just pinch right there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, it's a pricey card. You went papyrus. Yeah, man. Shut it. All I gotta do is open a card. I mean, I can open a card. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> uh. Now I will tell you, when I rode in this card, I was not using my extenders. What happened? I gotta. You're getting really dexterous with those things. I mean, mine look great, but yours are really working. Oh, you got it! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you got it! Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> My freaking camera's there, man. I'm sorry. This is the perfect time to tell you how special you are to me. May your birthday be a, it's not my birthday. I hate buying cards. And when I went out to buy my wife a birthday card, I bought her a card for last year and this year. But I forgot that I bought her this card until I found it today. So I'm giving it to you. May your birthday be a day filled with laughter, love, and joy. This is the kind of card you give to your wife? Yeah, I write other stuff in it. Well, all you wrote is your best, well, you didn't even write your best friend. You just put your friend. Yeah, I mean, we've been apart for a while. I don't know what my status is anymore. It's really a good hand workout, you know? Yeah, it's like the, the getting the gripper going. Hey, you know what? Oh. Fix my hat, you knocked it. Hats off to you. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted. I think I'm gonna go back home for another 50 days. All right, see ya, hey. High five. Bye. Good to see you. You too, man.